screen for heart failure in 15 seconds. Echo has developed the world's first AI tool to screen for heart failure during a standard physical examination. Full disclosure, I work for Echo, but I am making this video on my personal time with my personal views for educational purposes. So I wanted to share some of the cool technology and AI that we are developing to help improve health care. This here is one of those digital stethoscopes that we've built. And as you can see, it is the Littmann stethoscope, but what we've built is this attachment here, which is called the echo core attachment. And this is what enhances the sounds that you hear through the stethoscope. So you're able to hear heart sounds, lung sounds, body sounds much better and to be able to detect murmurs that you otherwise wouldn't hear with a standard analog stethoscope. As you can see, it is the rainbow stethoscope in support of the Pride community, and I think it's just beautiful and works great. The second device, which is what the AI tool was built using, is our Echo Duo device. This is a combined digital stethoscope and single lead electrocardiogram. So as you can see here, this is the diaphragm, which matches the diaphragm of a standard stethoscope. So it has electrodes here, which allows you to get an analysis of a single lead ECG. We've developed an algorithm that can screen for low ejection fraction using this medical device. Left ventricular ejection fraction is the measurement of how much blood is being pumped out of the left ventricle of the heart, which is the main pumping chamber of the heart. And this is expressed as the percentage of volume from each heartbeat. Left ventricular ejection fraction is the standard measure of your heart's efficiency and is used in evaluating patients with heart failure. The AI is trained based on input from both paired values from ECG and echocardiograms to measure ejection fraction values. The user records 15 seconds as input from the medical device, and it displays a binary prediction of the likelihood of low ejection fraction on your phone, tablet, or PC device. The threshold that is used is 40%, which is associated with clinical heart failure and is an indication for intervention. Previous research has shown correlations between ECG and left ventricular ejection fraction. This tool is intended to be used by clinicians to quickly screen for low ejection fraction. Many patients with low ejection fraction are asymptomatic until they progress to more severe heart failure. Heart failure is a chronic condition that affects more than 5 million individuals in the United States and affects a wide age range. Heart failure with reduced ejection fraction accounts for about 50% of all heart failures, and 80% are usually diagnosed after an emergency hospital admission, even though 40% of those patients have symptoms that can be detected earlier in primary care so that they can get earlier access to treatment. Early detection allows for earlier intervention to slow the progression to severe heart failure. Echocardiograms, which is the standard imaging tool to diagnose heart failure, is not readily available and accessible, and it can be quite costly. So a tool like this can meet an unmet need. Low ejection fraction is the best indicator for assessing risk of sudden cardiac death. It wasn't until recently that research was done and published on how effective this tool can be in the clinical setting. The UK NHS ran an independent study evaluating the use of the Echo Duo with the low ejection fraction algorithm to identify patients with heart failure. The study was tested on more than 1,000 patients and showed an accuracy of 81% correctly 
identifying patients with left ventricular ejection fraction less than 40%. If the user did a recording on two chest locations, the accuracy of the AI jumped to 86%. This study showed that the AI tool can screen for heart failure in 15 seconds during a standard physical examination. According to Dr. Nicholas Peters, who is the professor of cardiology at the Imperial College London, this is a game changer and will allow healthcare professionals to reliably rule in or rule out heart failure at the point of care. And the result will be earlier diagnosis and treatment and the avoidance of unnecessary and expensive tests such as echocardiograms for those in whom heart failure is ruled out. This means better and more cost-effective healthcare. Artificial intelligence can be a tool used to help clinicians make better clinical decisions more efficiently. I don't think AI can ever replace clinicians, but I definitely think AI and technology can be used to support and empower clinicians. I hope sharing this cool technology and research can inspire some of you on how there are so many opportunities to use advances in technology and AI in healthcare to not only make things better for patients, but also clinicians. If you found this content valuable and if you'd like more content like this, please like and subscribe. And if you know of any companies or technology doing cool and amazing things to improve healthcare, please comment below. I love hearing about new technology making big moves and a big difference in healthcare. Thanks everyone. Bye.